subscribe to our channel for latest video series on gain UGC net and more. Also press the bell icon so that you never miss an update on any latest video. For more information you can visit our website or call on the numbers below. I am going to look at last topic for, from this uh, chapter which is stability of systems. How are we judging stability of LTI systems using Laplace transforms? Okay, how do we see, how do you check stability of systems? So one point that we saw earlier was that ROC of the system function, transfer function must contain the J omega axis, right? Now we're going to look at different criteria to check this. So we've already seen that system transfer function H of S is defined as Y of S upon X of S. So I'm expressing it in terms of numerator and denominator, N of S and D of S, right? So uh, we, we assume that order of D of S is higher than N of S, okay? Why for this rational function to be a proper rational function? I'm assuming, assuming order of denominator is higher than order of, higher than order of, numerator going to be higher than order of numerator right for this function for this rational function to be a proper rational function so now i can just express h of s as b n s m plus b n minus 1 s m minus 1 and so on until b1 s plus b naught upon a naught s to the power n a1 s n minus 1 Right. something like this this can be written as this can uh, this is how you can just express uh, this system transfer function as now this denominator polynomial d of s d of s which was a naught s to the power n plus a1 s to the power n minus 1 plus a n minus 1 s plus a n this this function this is known as characteristic equation this we are calling as characteristic equation okay characteristic state equation now what are we doing is stability of a system is tested by a well-known routh hurwitz method we are using a method known as routh hurwitz method okay so what we are doing is using this characteristic equation which has been formed using the denominator polynomial of the system transfer function we are forming a routh array routh array and Seeing the Routh array, we are judging the stability of the system. Now, how are we performing? How are we just forming this Routh array? So, highest degree of this denominator, which is Sn, I place here Sn. And in order of decreasing powers, right? Something like this, right? Least power is going to be S0. Now, what do you do? You start with the first coefficient first coefficient was a naught place it here now next coefficient next coefficient was a1 place it here next a2 next a3 a4 a5 right so on you are placing it right now to calculate the coefficient that comes here suppose i name it b1 right b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 now how do i calculate these coefficients b1 b2 and so on so b1 is calculated using the uh, elements the four elements of the first two rows b2 is calculated using these two elements and these two we are just cross multiplying right so well, like c for example if you need to calculate b1 what do you do a1 into a2 minus a3 into a0 a1 into a2 minus a0 into a3 upon a1. This is how you calculate b1. That is to calculate b1, you need to multiply these two elements with their corresponding adjacent elements. To calculate b2, similarly, you multiply these two elements with the next two elements. So this is going to be a1, a4 minus a0, a5 upon a1. Right? Similarly, you can find all the elements. C1, for example, can be found out by b1 into a3 minus a1 into b2 upon b1 right similarly c2 is going to be b1 into 
a5 minus a1 into b3 upon b1 right this is how you're just calculating these elements now ev evaluation of uh, coefficients is going to continue till we find the coefficient of s0 right so uh, this is how you can just uh, form routh array okay once your routh array is formed okay then uh, we can make observations about the stability of the system based on some criterion what are the criterion now first criterion is system is going to be stable if the coefficients of the first co column are all positive okay that is a not a1 b1 c1 d1 all these elements must be positive all the elements of first column must be positive if they are not positive we say that the system is unstable so first criteria is going to be system is going to be stable if the coefficients of the first column are all positive all positive otherwise we say that otherwise system is said to be unstable unstable right so what do we need first criteria is going to be that all the elements of the first column of this uh, routh array must be positive second uh, second condition for checking the stability is if there is a change of signal from positive to negative in the first column of the routh array right if an element changes sign from positive to negative the number of sign changes signifies number of pole lying in the right half of the s plane okay number of sign changes signifies how many routes are causing instability right so uh, you'll gain clarity when we look at the example for now you can just remember that if there is a change sign change if there is a sign change in first column of in first column of routh array routh array then number of sign changes number of sign change signifies signifies number of poles causing instability or number of poles lying in right half of s plane right half of s plane okay we know that for a system to be stable all its uh, roots must lie in the left half of the s plane so number of sign changes in the first column of the routh array signifies that how many roots are actually lying in the right half of the s plane or causing instability in the system okay so uh, now we look at an example uh, to understand this routh array better See now they've given us two different uh, system transfer functions and they're asking you to check the stability of the given functions. Now to check the stability we are only considering denominator polynomial or what we are calling as uh, characteristic equation. Right? This is ds is equal to 0 is known as a characteristic equation. So if you just look at the characteristic equation for this uh, part, it's going to be 2s to the power 4 plus 5s cube plus 5s square plus 2s plus 1 equal to 0 right now we're going to prepare the routh array so highest power of s in this equation is s to the power 4 s cube s square s to the power 1 and we continue till s to the power 0 which is 1 right so now uh, just place these uh, coefficients so here we'll have two second coefficients going to come here 5 again 5 this is going to come here 2 is going to come here and one you're going to have here right now to obtain the coefficient that has to lie here you do cross multiplication 5 into 5 minus 2 into 2 upon 5 right so this is going to be 21 upon 5 again for this this coefficient what do you do 5 into 1 here we are having nothing so we consider 0 so this is going to be 5 into 1 minus 0 upon 5 so you get 1 then again you perform the same thing 21 to uh, Okay, to get the coefficient of here, what do you do? This this coefficient into 2 minus 5 upon this one. Okay, so when you perform this, you're going to get 21 upon 17. 
for this coefficient uh, since there is no column here we are having value 0 so this is going to be 0 no value now for this what do you do 21 into 17 into 1 minus 0 upon 21 into 17 this is 1 now you see that all coefficients in the first column are positive okay right uh, all the coefficients are positive no coefficient is missing and there are no sign changes which means that this system is going to be a stable system stable system see if this system had only two poles right might be three poles you could have just factorized the denominator and by judging the location of the poles whether they are lying in left half of the s-plane or right half of the s-plane we could have checked the stability of this system but since this this system had four poles maybe sometimes it would have five poles six poles in that case checking the location of the poles becomes tough then we are using this method Routherwitz criteria to judge the stability of the system. Okay, So look at the next part now. In the next part also, they have given you the transfer function from which uh, the characteristic equation can be obtained. So this is the denominator polynomial 3s to the power 4 plus 5s cube plus 5s square plus s plus 2. So I am directly preparing the Routh array from this uh, characteristic equation or the denominator polynomial highest power is s to the power 4 then we have s to the power 3 square s and s to the power 0 or 1 right if you just put the coefficients 3 5 5 1 2 now to calculate the coefficient which uh, lies here what are you going to do 5 into 5 minus 3 upon 5 it's going to give you 22 by 5 and to calculate this, you're going to do 5 into 2. There's no number here. So 5 into 2 upon 5, which gives you 2 only. Now to calculate this, what do you do? 22 by 5 into 1 minus 10. 22 by 5 minus 10 upon 22 by 5. If you just perform this calculation, you get minus 14 by 11. Okay, you can just check, check this. Right? And for this uh, coefficient, what are you going to do? See, see there is no column here, so you are not going to get any numbers. It is going to be 0 only. Now, for this, uh, what do you do? Minus 14 by 11 into 2 upon minus 14 by 11, which gives you 2 only. Now, if you see coefficients of the signs of the elements of first column. So, there is one element with a negative sign. Right, one negative sign is there, which means the system is going to be unstable. This is for sure, the system is unstable. Now we look at number of sign changes. How many times is the sign changing in the first column? So first sign change occurs here. Sign changes from positive to negative. Then another sign change occurs, right, negative to positive. So number of sign changes is 2. Which means that out of the 4 roots of this system, 2 roots are lying in the right side of the omega axis. So what can I conclude? Number of poles in right side of J omega axis is going to be 2. Why? Because there are 2 sign changes. Okay, So out of 4 poles of the system, 2 are lying in right of the S plane. Right. Uh, now look at one more example. Suppose you have given uh, that characteristic equation of the system like this. S to the power 5 plus S4 plus 3S cube plus 3s square plus 2s plus 1 equal to 0. This is the characteristic equation uh, that has been given to you and you are asked to check the stability of the system. Okay, the procedure is going to remain same. So you just highest power s to the power 5, s to the power 4, s cube, s square, s to the power 1 and s 0. I just put the coefficients. So this is going to be 1, 1, 3, 3, 2, 1. Now see, when you try to calculate the coefficient that comes here, what are you going to get? 3 minus 3, you are going to get 0. This coefficient is going to be 2 minus 1, 1. Now see, there is a special situation where the first entry of this row, of this row of S cube is 0. Right? While the other one is non-zero. Now what do we do in this kind of situation? What do we do? We just replace this 0 with, with a delta, with any special symbol. Okay? We replace this suppose with a delta sign okay we replace this with uh, any small positive number suppose delta right just to ease and negative uh, this this uh, these calculations okay so we are taking this this limit delta tends to zero okay considering this we have just replaced the zero with delta so that other calculations can be performed 
okay so this row has become delta and 1 now if you calculate further this is going to become 3 delta minus 1 upon delta other row this is going to become 1 next next row this is going to become 3 delta minus 1 upon delta just multiplying okay it's following the same procedure 3 delta minus 1 upon delta see why are we doing this is and this is going to become 0 this element is going to become 1 okay you can just calculate why are we doing this is see we are just concerned with the signs of the first column elements okay we just need signs of these elements we want that all these elements must be positive now even if you have considered this delta keeping this limit delta tends to 0 you can just judge what sign is this element going to have right like if you just see here if you just put delta equal to 0 here this element is going to have negative sign right and we are concerned with the signs only we do not we are not concerned with the magnitude anyways right we do not need the magnitude anyways so what do we know we want we just want to judge the sign and if we consider zero here division by zero would would, would not be possible okay so that is why we are just replacing this with a small number small positive number delta so that on putting the limits afterwards we can judge the stability of the system signs of the first column okay so if you just see here if we just try to calculate these limits limit delta tends to zero three delta minus one upon delta this is going to be a negative number okay i'm not even concerned with the magnitude this is going to be a negative number that's that is for sure right and limit delta tends to zero three delta minus one minus delta square upon three delta minus one if you put limits here this is going to be one or positive what i what do i need this is going to be positive number which means that sign of these three rows is positive sign of these two rows is positive but there is a negative sign occurring in the s square row right one negative sign therefore number of sign changes number of sign changes are going to be two since one negative element occurred in this s square row therefore there were two sign changes so what can i conclude this system is going to be an unstable system, unstable system. And out of five poles that is it has, number of poles lying on right side of the J omega axis are going to be two, right? Two poles lie on, lie on right side of S plane. Two poles are going to lie in right side of S plane, okay? So this is how you can check stability using Routhard's criteria. Now there is one more possible case uh, in this, so we see that also. Suppose your characteristic equation is s to the power 6 plus s to the power 5 plus 3s to the power 4 plus 2s cube plus 5s square plus 3s plus 3 equal to 0, right? So they have given this uh, characteristic equation and there you have to judge the stability, right? So there is one more case which is possible, we see that also. Try to make the route array first. Just put all the elements, it's going to be 1, 1, 3, 2, 5, 3, 3. Right, then perform this uh, multiplication division. 3 minus 2 upon 1 this is going to be 1. 5 minus 3 is going to be 2. And this is going to be 3. Now, if you see, first element of this row was 0. Okay, if only one element was 0, we could have replaced it with delta. Things would have worked out. But now, second element of this row also became 0. Okay, this is another special situation. Now, all the coefficients of the row S cube are 0. Okay, now what can we do? We cannot consider both of them as some small numbers, right? Now, in this case, what we do is we consider a auxiliary polynomial. Consider auxiliary polynomial what is an auxiliary polynomial now what are we doing is like in this case s cube row became zero completely then what do we do we consider a auxiliary polynomial from the coefficient of s to the power 4 row okay how are we considering it i'm considering an auxiliary polynomial d1s how by taking coefficients from this row 1 into s to the power 4 plus 2 into s plus 3 okay this is how we are considering a auxiliary polynomial see how did we do this 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 uh, this since this row became 0 
since this row became zero the row above it the power of s above it we make an auxiliary polynomial using this okay how do we do this this is going to be this is uh, 1 into s to the power 4 right and plus plus this into s to the power 1 right plus 3 into this is going to be s to the power 2 okay actually we are just reducing powers by 2 so this is going to be 1 into s to the power 4 plus next even power next even power is going to be 2s square plus 3 into next even power next even power is going to be s to the power 0 now to calculate the coefficients of s cube row what do we do i just differentiate this auxiliary polynomial so it's going to be 4s cube plus 4s Right, this is going to be 4s cube plus 4s. Now, with the help of this d by ds of d1s, route arrays for the developed how I'm going to place, I'm going to place here coefficient of coefficient of this term, which is 4, and here coefficient of this term, which is again 4. Okay, so this is how you are developing this array further now, right. Now, if we just, just perform the same operations, this is going to be 8 minus 4 upon 4, which is 1. This is going to be 4 into 3 min, uh, upon uh, 4, 3. Again, 4 minus 12. So, 4 minus 12 is going to be minus 8. This is going to be 0. Minus 8 into 3 upon minus 8. This is going to be 3. Okay. Fine. So now if you see what happens in this first row, we are having two sign changes. Okay, two sign changes we can observe in the first row. So what does that mean? Again, the system is going to be unstable, unstable. And accordingly, you can judge that to how many roots are going to lie in the right, right side of J omega axis. Fine. So this was one last special case of the Routh array that we had to see. Uh, I think we've covered all the cases, all the things. Uh, still, if you find something that we have not covered related to Laplace transform, you can just tell us so that we can cover that also. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions, queries, you can uh, always leave us in uh, mails, messages or comments. Thank you.